One of the most interesting animals is the brown bear. Pretty much at the top of the food chain, the brown bear seems to have an easy time finding its sustenance. It eats almost anything. It eats berries, grass, bees, moths, meat, carrion. It'll eat human garbage. It eats <clears throat> pretty freely, and it would seem to have an easy time. The only difficulty is that most brown bears live in regions that for a number of months are going to turn stark and bare. November, December, January, there's going to be nothing to eat. Hence the bear hibernates. It'll go into a state where it basically doesn't move and it eats up its fat stores during those months. To allow it to survive, Hashem put an instinct into the bear that from the moment it emerges from the log, from the cave where it's hidden during the winter, it begins eating. In the spring, it eats the berries and it begins eating the various shrubs that will exist. It'll begin eating whatever it can. And during the early spring months, it's hungry and eats much of the time. However, as the summer gets longer and as we get closer to August and especially September, the bear goes into a state of hyper hunger where it eats all day long. As a matter of fact, Bears have been documented to eat 24 hours straight. They'll eat 200,000 berries in a day. They'll eat 20,000 moths in a clip. They'll eat and eat and eat. And towards the end of the fall, when the salmon are beginning to rise <clears throat> to swim upstream, you'll see the bear sitting there, swiping, grabbing the salmon in mid-flight, eating it, consuming it. I want you to imagine for a minute the following. Imagine that you were put into the body of a bear. But you, the same personality, same thought, put into the body of a bear, but with all of the hungers and appetite of a bear. And you wake up in the spring, and you feel this need to eat, this, this constant need to eat. And so you reach into a log and you pull out termites. You sort of like, but, mm, and you, you gulp them down. And you crunch them, and you and you're sort of half aghast at what you're doing, and then you eat grass, and then you eat human garbage, and you eat everything all day long. You're eating and eating. You're eating termites, you're eating grub, and you're just consumed by this horrific need to eat. And as the summer wears on, you begin eating more and more, hour after hour, and you stand there at the <clears throat> river, and you swipe a fish, and you see it in your claws, and you gulp it and you say, ew, it's slimy, it's disgusting, but you find yourself eating it and you're, you're sort of living in this, what am I doing? I believe that is an apt parable to what Hashem did when He created us. Hashem took I, the neshama, holy and pure, and put me into this body. And this body has needs and desires, appetites and hungers, and I may often be disgusted by the things the body pulls me to. But this is the bear that I occupy. My job on the planet is to harness the bear, to train it, to learn to understand its needs and to use it. But that's exactly the reality that I've been put into this body and there'll be many desires, needs and that will almost overcome me. And I have to recognize that that is human nature. My job is to grow, my job is to change, but that is the reality that Hashem put me into. And I believe there are two mistakes that we typically make. The first mistake we make is we look at ourselves and go, what's wrong with me? I'm disgusting. And I'd like to share with you an observation. You did not create your body. That bear is the bear, the drives, the appetites, the needs. Everyone has it. For one person may be lust, for another person may be the need for honor, another person may be jealousy, another person may be anger, but that is the human condition and that's what Hashem wants. And Hashem put us into this body with needs, with appetites and gave us the job of harnessing it, controlling it slowly, year after year, learning to train it until we become its master. But I didn't make the bear. And therefore, it doesn't reflect on me. The only question is, how do I use it? How do I harness it? Am I growing? Am I changing? But the second mistake we tend to make is even worse. We think of ourselves as the bear. This is what I am. I am an animal. I am this. 
And it's not true at all. No matter what I've done, no matter what I've been involved in, I am the occupant of this body, but I'm the one inside. This body has drives, and it will pull me, and it will <clears throat> drive me to things, but I and it are separate. I and it are distinct. When I understand that I'm the one inside, I'm able to identify the needs, the drives, I'm able to understand there'll be many bitter battles, there'll be many times when the body will win. But my job is to continue to fight and continue to grow. Hashem gave us a Torah, the ultimate spiritual nourishment. Hashem gave us systems to grow, to accomplish. We have to understand how the human works, understand the pulls of the body, understand how a person wins, and understand that this is a long, long battle to gain primacy, to gain control over the body for me to master that situation Hashem put me into. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.